The Ichsler Adult Intelligence Scale is a test designed to measure intelligence in adults and older adolescents. It is currently in its fourth edition. The original WAIS was published in February 1955 by David Ichsler, as a revision of the Ichsler Bellevue Intelligence Scale that had been released in 1939. The fourth edition of the test was released in 2008 by Pearson. History Ichsler's scale is founded on his definition of intelligence, which he defined as the global capacity of a person to act purposefully, to think rationally, and to deal effectively with his environment. He believed that intelligence was made up of specific elements that could be isolated, defined, and subsequently measured. However, these individual elements were not entirely independent, but were all interrelated. His argument, in other words, is that general intelligence is composed of various specific and interrelated functions or elements that can be individually measured. This theory differed greatly from the Binet scale which, in Ichsler's day, was generally considered the supreme authority with regard to intelligence testing. A drastically revised new version of the Binet scale, released in 1937, received a great deal of criticism from David Ichsler. Ichsler was a very influential advocate for the concept of non-intellective factors, and he felt that the 1937 Binet scale did not do a good job of incorporating these factors into the scale. Ichsler did not agree with the idea of a single score that the Binet test gave. Ichsler argued that the Binet scale items were not valid for adult test takers because the items were chosen specifically for use with children. The Binet scale's emphasis on speed, with timed tasks scattered throughout the scale, tended to unduly handicap older adults. Ichsler believed that mental age norms clearly did not apply to adults. Ichsler criticized the then existing Binet scale because it did not consider that intellectual performance could deteriorate as a person grew older. Check quotation syntax These many criticisms of the 1937 Binet test gave rise to the Ichsler Bellevue scale that was released in 1939. While this scale has been revised many times, many of the original concepts Ichsler argued for have become standards in psychological testing, including the point scale concept and the performance scale concept. Ichsler Bellevue Intelligence Scale The Ichsler Bellevue tests were innovative in the 1930s because they gathered tasks created for non-clinical purposes for administration as a clinical test battery, used the point scale concept instead of the age scale, and included a non-verbal performance scale. The point scale concept, in the Binet scales items were grouped according to age level. Each of these age levels were composed of a group of tasks that could be passed by two-thirds to three-quarters of the individuals in that level. This meant that items were not arranged according to content. Additionally, an individual taking a Binet test would only receive credit if a certain amount of the tasks were completed. This meant that falling short just one task required for the credit resulted in no credit at all. The point scale concept drastically changed the way testing was done by assigning credits or points to each item. This had two large effects. First, this allowed items to be grouped according to content. Second, participants were able to receive a set amount of points or credits for each item passed. The result was a test that could be made up of different content areas with both an overall score and a score for each content area. In turn, this allowed for an analysis to be made of an individual's ability in a variety of content areas. The Nonverbal Performance Scale The Nonverbal Performance Scale was also a critical difference from the Binet Scale. Since the early Binet scale had been persistently and consistently criticized for its emphasis on language and verbal skills, Ichsler made an entire scale that allowed the measurement of nonverbal intelligence. This became known as a performance scale. Essentially, this scale required a subject to do something rather than just answer questions. This was an important development as it attempted to overcome biases that were caused by language, culture, and education. Further, this scale also provided an opportunity to observe a different type of behavior because something physical was required. Clinicians were able to observe how a participant reacted to the longer interval of sustained effort, concentration, and attention that the performance tasks required. 
while the Ichsula Bellevue scale was the first to effectively use the performance scale there was a possibility of directly comparing an individual's verbal and nonverbal intelligence, and that the results of both scales were expressed in comparable units, the idea had been around for a while. The Binet scale did have performance tasks and there were entire tests that were considered supplements or alternatives. WAIS the WAIS was initially created as a revision of the Ichsula Bellevue Intelligence Scale, which was a battery of tests published by Ichsula in 1939. The WBIS was composed of subtests that could be found in various other intelligence tests at the time, such as Robert Yerkes Army Testing Program and the Binet Simon Scale. The WAIS was first released in February 1955 by David Ichsula. Because the Ichsula tests included nonverbal items as well as verbal items for all test takers, and because the 1960 form of Lewis Terman Stanford Binet Intelligence Scales was less carefully developed than previous versions, Form I of the WAIS surpassed the Stanford Binet tests in popularity by the 1960s. Way R, the WAISR, a revised form of the WAIS, was released in 1981 and consisted of six verbal and five performance subtests. The verbal tests were information, comprehension, arithmetic, digit span, similarities, and vocabulary. The performance subtests were picture arrangement, picture completion, block design, object assembly, and digit symbol. A verbal IQ, performance IQ, and full scale IQ were obtained. This revised edition did not provide new validity data, but used the data from the original WAIS. However new norms were provided, carefully stratified. WAIII The WAISIII, a subsequent revision of the WAIS and the WAISR, was released in 1997. It provided scores for verbal IQ, performance IQ, and full-scale IQ, along with four secondary indices. Verbal IQ, included seven tests and provided two SU indexes. Verbal Comprehension and Working Memory The Verbal Comprehension Index included the following tests, Information, Similarities, Vocabulary. The Working Memory Index included, Arithmetic, Digit Span, Letter Number Sequencing and Comprehension are not included in these indices, but are used as substitutions for spoiled subtests within the WMI and VCI. Respectively, Performance IQ included six tests and it also provided two SU indexes. Perceptual Organization and Processing Speed The Perceptual Organization Index included Block Design, Matrix Reasoning, Picture Completion. The Processing Speed Index included Digit Symbol Coding, Symbol Search, two tests. Picture Arrangement and Object Assembly were not included in the indexes. Object assembly is not included in the PIQ. WAIV, the current version of the test, the WAISIV, which was released in 2008, is composed of 10 core subtests and 5 supplemental subtests, with the 10 core subtests comprising the full scale IQ. With the new WAISIV, the verbal performance subscales from previous versions were removed and replaced by the index scores. The general ability index was included which consists of the similarities, vocabulary and information subtests from the Verbal Comprehension Index and the Block Design, Matrix Reasoning and Visual Puzzles subtests from the Perceptual Reasoning Index. The GAI is clinically useful because it can be used as a measure of cognitive abilities that are less vulnerable to impairments of processing and working memory. Indices and Scales There are four index scores representing major components of intelligence, Verbal Comprehension Index, Perceptual Reasoning Index, Working Memory Index, Processing Speed Index, two broad scores are also generated, which can be used to summarize general intellectual abilities, full-scale IQ, based on the total combined performance of the VCI, PRI, WMI, and PSI, General Ability Index, based only on the six subtests that the VCI and PRI comprise. Subtests Standardization, the WAISIV was standardized on a sample of 2,200 people in the United States ranging in age from 16 to 90. An extension of the standardization has been conducted with 688 Canadians in the same age range. 
other test variants and uses, the WAIS IV measure is appropriate for use with individuals aged 16 a year or 90 years. For individuals under 16 years, the Ichsilla Intelligence Scale for Children and the Ichsilla Preschool and Primary Scale of Intelligence are used. A short, four-subtest version of the WAISIII battery has been released, allowing clinicians to form a validated estimate of verbal, performance and full-scale IQ in a shorter amount of time. The Ichsilla abbreviated scale of intelligence uses vocabulary, similarities, block design and matrix reasoning subtests similar to those of the WAIS to provide an estimate of full-scale IQ in approximately 30 minutes. Intelligence tests may also be utilized in populations with psychiatric illness or brain injury, in order to assess level of cognitive functioning, though some regard this use as controversial. Rehabilitation psychologists and neuropsychologists use the WAISIV and other neuropsychological tests to assess how the brain is functioning after injury. Specific subtests provide information on a specific cognitive function. For example, Digit span may be used to get a sense of attentional difficulties. Others employ the WAISRNI, another measure published by Harcourt. Each subtest score is tallied and calculated with respect to neurotypical or brain injury norms. As the WAIS is developed for the average, non injured individual, separate norms were developed for appropriate comparison among similar functioning individuals. Today, Various high IQ societies accept this test for membership in their ranks. For example, the Triple Nine Society accepts a minimum score of 146 on any WAIS scale. References Further reading, Matarazzo, Joseph D. Itchsiller's Measurement and Appraisal of Adult Intelligence. Baltimore, Williams and Watkins. Lay Summaria, Itchsiller, David. The Measurement of Adult Intelligence. Baltimore, Williams and Watkinsa, Itchsler, David. The Measurement and Appraisal of Adult Intelligence. Baltimore, Williams and Watkins. Retrieved June 4, 2013. A. Vice, Lawrence G. Sakhovsk, Donald H. Colson, Diane. Rayford, Susan, Ed's WAISIV Clinical Use and Interpretation, Scientist Practitioner Perspectives. Practical Resources for the Mental Health Professional. Alan S. Kaufman. Amsterdam, Academic Press. ISBN A 978-0-12-375035-8. Lay summary of this practitioner's handbook includes chapters by Diane L. Colson, Susan N. G. Rayford, Donald H. Sakhovsk, Lawrence G. Weiss, Hsin Chen, Josette G. Harris, James A. Holdnack. Xi Orbanzol, Jian Jontsu, Jacques Grego, Munro Cullum, Glenn Larrabee, Gerald Goldstein, Timothy A. Salthouse, and Lisa W. Drozdick. External links FAQ Finding Information About Psychological Tests, Classics in the History of Psychology, Beyond the Flynn Effect.